Hey everyone, I'm Davis from Flop and Crappie TV. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a slip bobber and jig setup for fishing crappie in deep water. This is a very basic setup, quarter ounce jig, slip bobber, bead, and slip. I'm using a seven foot medium action rod. I have six pound monofilament and I'm going to show you not only how to tie one of these things but how to fish them for big crappie. Okay folks, let's get right into it. How to set up a slip bobber and jig for crappie. First, you're going to start with the slip. A lot of times you can get these in packages. They're pretty great, they're, they're actually pretty nice. Um, they come with both the slip of rope and beads. And bead, right there. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start by taking your line, this is the tag end of the line, and you're going to put it through the tube, the plastic tube that comes in the package for the slip. You put it all the way through, all the way through the line, and then pull some line, I don't know, pull about a couple feet, doesn't really matter. Okay. Then, this is very important, you're going to want to take this, the plastic part and pull it towards the tag end of the line. Okay, the, the part of the line that is going away from the rod. You're going to want to take the slip, the yarn, and pull it towards the tip of the rod. Okay, otherwise you're going to end up with this plastic piece above your slip and that's just... Sometimes they're big enough they can go right over the top and you can get them off, but other times you can't. So, that's a key thing to remember. So you're going to pull this plastic piece all the way off all the way off the, the line. Okay. We have our yarn. You're going to grab both the tag ends of that and you're going to pull it tight and that's going to tighten up on the line. Okay, don't worry. Even if you pull it really tight, you'll still be able to slide it some. You don't want to pull it so tight though for, for right now, okay, because we're going to have to adjust it. This setup is definitely meant for deeper water fishing. Um, so, now we're going to take our bead here and we're going to take the tag end of the line and we're going to put our bead on. And there we go. And you're going to slide that bead all the way up to the slip. All the way up to the slip. Just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take our bobber and take the red end, sometimes there's different colors. Usually um, the top end has a very small hole on the top and the bottom have a, has a much larger hole. See how that, that's a much larger hole? That's usually the bottom. The top hole is meant to be smaller because the, the stop is supposed to stop on that smaller hole. So we're gonna take the red, red tip here and we're gonna thread the tag end of the line through that red tip and put it all the way through the bobber until it comes out the other side. Like so. And you're going to pull the line through all the way up until your, it hits your bead and your stop. Your little float stop. Okay, then the final thing. You've got to tie the jig head on. So, you're going to take your jig head now, it's very, very important to mention, these jig heads, this is a quarter ounce jig head, you have to make sure that this jig head is heavy enough to pull the, not only pull the line through the bobber, but pull the bobber so that it, it sits, like if this is the water, this is the, the flat of the water, it sh sits uh, vertical, and perpendicular with the water. Um, I know some guys do like to have the bobbers horizontal, so when a fish hits it, it pops up. Um, I guess that's personal preference, but I would recommend choosing a heavier jig. This is a quarter ounce jig. Um, you know, it's, it's plenty small enough for a crappie so that it can uh, pull the, vo the bobber vertically and um, you'll be able to see a strike. Okay, 
Now we gotta tie our jig head on. I prefer an improved clinch knot. Um, you can also use a polymer knot. This knot is fairly simple. You're just gonna thread it through the eyelet of the jig, like that. So the jig's just sitting there. You're then going to take your middle finger. Doesn't If you're left-handed, use your left hand for your middle finger. I'm right-handed, so I'm using my, my middle finger on my right hand. And you're gonna take the tag end of the line and the line going back to the rod, and you're gonna form a kind of a loop around your middle finger here. You're then gonna pinch with your whatever hand you're holding it with, the, the jig head with, the index finger and your thumb, you're gonna pinch the two lines together. You're gonna take the tag end, which is the end opposite of the rod, and you're gonna wrap it around the line going back to the rod tip, okay? Just like that, and you're gonna do that anywhere between four and seven times. I'm only gonna do it four times here. And then, you've created a, a real loop and a bunch of wraps through here. Now you're gonna take the tag end of the line, for me it's in my left hand, and you're gonna put it back through this loop you created with your middle finger, okay? Now, don't tighten, don't tighten anything yet. You wanna keep this loop, this newly created loop here, this one with my left, my index finger on my left hand, right? Right here, this, this newly created loop, right there. Right there. You wanna keep that open because after you pull it through this other loop down here, this one, you're gonna to wanna to take that tag end of the line and bring it back through that new, that newly created loop, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna pull tight on the tag end. Now, it's gonna leave kind of a mess right here. All you're gonna do is grab the end going back to your rod tip and the jig head, and you're just gonna pull, pull tight. You might have to help it out by pinching it and kind of sliding it down, down to the jig head. Okay? Just like that. Ouch. Try not to hook yourself. Just like that. And then you can clip the tag end off. Like that. Maybe a little more if you want. And there you go. Now I like to use tubes a lot. So on this jig, I'll probably use something like this. It's a black and chartreuse tailed tube. So I'm just gonna run it down to about where the hook starts to bend and then put it through, slide it up so it sits like that. Now I'm gonna go over a few methods. Um, now that I showed you how to tie it, we're actually gonna go onto the water and show you a couple different methods of how to catch fish on this rig. Welcome back all you crappies out there. So we're out on the lake, showed you the slip bobber setup with a jig and two. This is great for suspending crappie. Um, right now I'm set up on a weed line and there are brush piles kind of mixed in, but they're in deep water. They're about 15, 16 feet. So we're definitely gonna have to move our slip. I'm gonna cut that again. I had to retie this. Um, I'm gonna have to move it to you know that 14, 15 feet of water mark. Um, so first I need to find the bottom with this. And then I'm gonna move this slip up about two feet because the bottom's about 17, 18 feet. So I gotta do that first. So I got my bale open right now. I'm just gonna lower it straight down where I know there's not any structure or debris to impede it. And I think I found the bottom. Yep, right there. So that's bottom. So that's bottom. Now I'm gonna raise it up about two feet, two to three feet there. And that's gonna be my depth for right now until these crappie tell me different. Cast out, let the line drop all the way to your stopper. Okay, that's step one on how to rig this up or how to, how to work this jig. And I think I already have a fish on. <laughs> I do have a fish on, hold on. Well, there's step one, you just throw it down there and you pull up a fish.
pull up a fish like that. There's the easy way of doing it, is just dropping it straight down. That was actually going to be the second way I showed you. But the first step is you cast it out a little bit. I don't need to do it a whole, whole lot here. Sometimes it gets snagged on, on that, st that stopper. So Cast it out a little bit. Sorry, it's right in the sun. Hold on. Let me back up. And let it, let the bobber, let that stopper go all the way to the bobber. Until it's straight up and down. Now, you're just going to slowly reel it in. Give it a couple, couple of flicks with your rod tip. You're going to slowly pull it in and then let it reset straight up and down again. Okay. This is kind of mimicking a vertical jig, but it's nice because you can cast it out and still fish those suspended fish away from the boat. That's what's great about this little setup. They will hit it, even artificial bait, they'll hit for just a moment if you pause it. And, and slowly kind of just jig it back in. And always remember when you raise that, that stopper away from the bobber, that's how much that jig head's going up. Oop, there's, a, there's a fish. Oh, he let go. And if the bobber, usually they won't take it down. They'll either take it, they'll run with it, or the bobber, instead of sitting straight up and down, it'll sit sideways. Especially if, they, and you always gotta watch that line. If it starts going through the bobber a lot faster than it normally would, that means you probably have a fish on. There's a fish. Having to definitely move this bait around a little bit more. Ouch. Oh, there's a fish. You gotta be watching the line. It'll hit that right on the fall. Like this one just did. Oh, that's a good crappie too. It's a real nice crappie. Holy smokes. And that right there is why this slip bobber tactic is really effective for nice big crappie. A little jig head, slip bobber, and a stopper. Real cheap, real inexpensive. Catches some nice crappie. That was on an artificial bait too. Didn't even have to go out and buy some live bait. Got it on a nice jig tube. Different colors. Jig tubes aren't that expensive. You get a crappie like that. That's probably a 13 inch fish right there. That's a nice crappie. All right, we're gonna go get more. Ooh, there's a fish. That's a good fish too, feels like it anyway. Yes. There we go. That is a great fish for this lake. And there we go, folks. Another reason, that's the that's second big one on this little slip bobber setup, little plastic jig tube on a jig head, very simple setup again, another great crappie. Please check out all my how-to tutorials. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of the screen, also at the end of the video you'll see my face holding a crappie, hit that button, and below the video there's also a subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.